Uh, thank you all for coming. Um, this is a training about post-concussion and brain injury assessments and treatments, and it's fantastic to see you all here, and I am so thrilled to see so many people from so many different fields all interested in this subject. Um, my name is Annette. Um, I'm the event coordinator for this event. Um, so very quick housekeeping. Bathrooms are located down the hall. The women's is that way, right? The men's is that way. And, um, to, uh, and there's a vending machine right around the corner here. To receive continuing education credits, you must sign in in the morning. So if you didn't do that, then stop at the table during the break and make sure that you sign in. And you must be present for every session. So if you leave early, then thank you for coming for the part that you did, but you won't get your credits. Uh, we have credits approved today for social workers, physical therapists, and occupational therapists. Physician CMEs, which will also count for nurses when they're approved, are still pending. And I will mail you your certificates when the approval comes through. Um, I'd like to thank the speakers, the main speakers who are giving up their time to put on this event for us today, and all of our speakers, and I'm really grateful for their willingness to give up their weekend to basically help patients like me. I'd also like to thank my mom, Dr. Marie Alfonsi, for putting this on. She said not to, but without her, this wouldn't be happening. So thank you guys, and I will listen next time she says, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> So uh, to provide a little context for this event, um, about three years ago, oh sorry, uh, yeah, let's give them a round of applause, yeah, sorry, yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> um, so uh, about three years ago I was a passenger in a rollover car accident with a reckless driver and now I have a mild brain injury. Uh, my story is like that of a lot of people, including some people in this room here today, uh, who are willing to also volunteer to help put this on. Um, we all bounced between providers looking for help, only to be told that we were only depressed or anxious and some narcotics or anti-anxiety meds would make us just fine or would help us, or if we looked fine, then we must be fine. And even well-meaning providers gave me a pretty much, uh, quite frankly, bad treatment. Uh, and that was because they didn't know about current treatments for brain injury. So the amount of medical knowledge out there is very vast and overwhelming, um, but so are the number of people in Alaska with brain injuries. And we all need really good treatment with good providers. My mom and I saw a need for a larger conversation about brain injury here, so we and the speakers decided to open the door. And all of you stepped through it today, which is fantastic, so thank you. Um, I'm a patient of both Dr. Murphy and Marie Smith, and uh, they have helped me the most. And they both happen to be leaving soon. And uh, so that wasn't very nice, <laughs> but good for them. Um, and I, um, together with two complete caseloads uh, of patients, need options for appropriate medical care in the future. Uh, Marie Smith saw me at my worst, and at that time, she was the only provider that didn't dismiss my symptoms. And because she didn't give up on me, I didn't give up on the entire healthcare system. It took about three years for me to find Dr. Murphy, and after I saw her in six months, I went from unable to work to working part-time. And in about a year, I went from being completely um, non-functional to coordinating a training today that turned out to be much bigger than we anticipated, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> but that couldn't happen without the right health care. Um, there are a lot of people like me just waiting for the right care to turn things around in their lives. Um, I still have progress to make along with all of them, and we all intend to make it, and that's only possible with the right care from the right providers, with the right knowledge and credentials. So thank you for being here today to add to the pool of informed providers available in Alaska. Um, so let's jump into the program and uh, be quick about it, because uh, we're a little late. The first few speakers here represent the um, community resources locally that also deal in some way with the impact of brain injuries.